Okay, so assuming that we've sighted in our red hot scope, which comes on a tornado crossbow, a cyclone, or a hurricane, or perhaps you've purchased a red hot optic for another brand of crossbow, in this section we're going to demonstrate how to use the very popular arrow drop compensator program. It's called the ADC program for short, that's the acronym. The first thing that we do is that we log on to the Parker website called parkerbows.com, www.parkerbows.com. Click on the red hot icon and then look for the click here sign that will load up the ADC program which will look just like this on your computer screen. Making one assumption that we've already sighted in our crossbow to 20 yards, now we can move on to the ADC program and really and I'm going to demonstrate the effectiveness of how we blueprint or we take a look at your scope and we tell you what each one of the crosshairs represents. We're going to need one thing however and that's a visit to a pro shop to use a professional chronograph and most pro, most pro shops do have a chronograph in their shooting range. All we're going to need is one arrow, and we're going to need the arrow drop compensator program. The first thing that we do once we get to the, to the pro shop is we shoot one arrow through the chronograph, and we make note of and we record the speed that we're shooting. Regardless of the brand of crossbow and regardless of the arrow weight, as long as we know the velocity of the arrow, we can now use this program and blueprint the scope. Let's demonstrate that for you right now. We're in a shooting range, and we're going to use a tornado as our example and shoot one arrow through the chronograph and record the speed. Here we go. Now we're in the shooting range, we're going to use a tornado in the aid of a set of shooting sticks. Our chronograph is in front of us, it's at a distance of about 15 yards. The chronograph is turned on and having already used a rope cocker, we've cocked the crossbow, flipped the safety up so we're exposing the red dot. It's in the fire position and we're going to safely squeeze off a shot. And now we're going to take a look at the chronograph and look at that, it registered 332 feet per second. That's pretty quick. Normally, normally I would get a cluster, I'd shoot a three arrow gr group down range to make sure they get a really good three group average, but I know this crossbow, this is my crossbow, and it's going to shoot 332 feet per second for me all day long. Now I'm going to take that number, 332 feet per second, and I'm going to punch it in to the velocity box on the arrow drop compensator program. Go back to our computer, type that in, and we're going to spit out a tape that tells us what each one of the reticle marks means. Watch this. So remembering our velocity of 332 feet per second, the opening screen to the Red Hot ADC program will look just like this. And up here in the top left corner in the velocity box, the screen will show up with a preset number of 325 feet per second. That's right in the middle of what today's high performance crossbows will shoot. You can either scroll up the number right here, 325, 330, 345, 350, etc. in five foot per second increments, or more accurately because our bow is shooting exactly 332 feet per second, I can zero out the velocity and retype in 332 feet per second, like I did right there. Now my next exercise is to hit the enter button, and the first thing that you'll notice is that the screen recalibrated and it showed me my line of trajectory, which is the red line right here. That's the actual trajectory of the arrow on the screen. Across the top, 0, 5, 10, 15 yards, all the way up to 75 yards, and five yard increments, it'll show the trajectory of the arrow. Most importantly, what I'm interested in though, is what do each one of the lines look like in my scope? And what does each one of the lines represent for distance at 332 feet per second? Right in this box right here, this is what I see through the scope. And I'm going to hit the print button right now, and on the printer it's going to print out a label, print it on an Avery label or on a white piece of paper, It'll show me exactly what each one of those dots mean and each one of those distances represent at 332 feet per second. With a pair of scissors, I can cut this little symbol out right here, attach it to my scope cap or attach it to the front of my limb or the side of my stock. And now when I head to the woods, I know exactly what those lines represent with my crossbow. Again, regardless of what arrow combination I'm, sh I'm shooting, as long as I know the speed, I can customize, I can blueprint my scope and know exactly what those distances are. That's how we use the arrow drop compensator program.